Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make these beautiful stylish seed beads earrings. They're really easy to make and I'll show you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make them by yourself. If you want to support me, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas. And if you hit the bell, you will know when I release matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done, like this bracelet that I'm linking to here at the eye icon. And you will be able to make beautiful sets. That is why it's a good idea to hit the bell. You could also help me by liking, sharing and commenting and you don't know how much of a support this is. And down there in description you will find a full list of materials, a link to my store and a link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. And now I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I need for this video are three colors of 11 seed beads and here I need ear wires. These are crystals that you could skip or you could use. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters, size 10 beading needle and scissors. And now I'm going to put about 4 feet of thread on my needle which is 1.2 meters and I'm going to start. Okay guys, and now I'm back and I'm going to take 16 black seed beads. Okay guys, and now I have 16 beads on my needle. You see 16, 4 by 4. And I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of my thread. I will stick my needle in my mat and here I want to make a knot. And I'm making a knot by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and I'm pulling like that really tight and I'm going to make one more knot just to be sure that everything is nice tight and secure okay and now guys i have this and i will go through the following let's say three beads okay now i have this circle and i will start by taking two silver beads and as i'm exiting from this black bead i will go back in circle through this one like that and pull. You see here I have something like a loop between my beads. Then I will go through the following two black beads like that and I'm going to take two reds. I'm going back in circle through this one. And also through the following two. Then I'm taking two silvers and I'm going back in circle through this one here. Okay. And through the following two after that. And I'm going to alternate two reds and two silvers until the end of this row. Now I'm taking two reds. I'm going through this one, but in order to save time, I will also go through the following two beads. In this way, I will make this faster. Okay. Then I take two silver beads. Go back through this one and through the following two. Okay. Then again, two reds. Go back. Okay. 
Okay guys, and now what I'm going to do is go through the following two black beads. And now it's time to flip my work. I prefer to flip it because when I flip it this way, I will work in this direction and it's easier for me because I'm right-handed. And now I'm going through this silver bead here, like that. And I'm taking two silver beads, going through the silver and then through the black in my inner circle. And I pull. Here I have herringbone stitch. If you're not familiar, don't worry. It's easy to make. I'm showing it here. Okay, and now I'm going through this red one here. And I need just one silver bead. Go down through the red and through the black one here, like that. Then I'm going here through this silver. Okay, and in this row I'm adding only silver beads, okay. Here I have two go through this silver and through the black one. Here where my silvers are I add two silvers and here where my reds are I add only one silver. This is the only difference. Okay, pulling and I will continue this until the end of this row. Okay, and here I add only one silver. And now I'm going through these two silver beads. And I take two silvers, two more silvers. Go back through these two silvers. This time not through the inner row, but only through the silvers. Okay, and I will exit through this red bead. Okay, now what I need to take are five red beads. Okay, I have my five here. And I'm going again through this red one. And pull. Now I have something like a flower here. Then I go through the following two silver beads. Take two more silvers. Go here. Then go through the red one. And take five more reds. Okay, five. Go here. Okay, guys, and I will continue this until the end of this row.
Okay, guys, and in my next step, I want to go through all of those three silver beads in this direction. Okay, now what I need is one black bead. I'm going through it and I'm taking two more black beads and I'm going here through these reds and then here so I'm going through these three reds here at the top and what I need are two more black beads go here in this silver Take just one black and go one bead to the center. Then take two black beads and go here through this two red and this one here. Okay, and I take two, go here, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, and now as I'm here, I'm going to take three silver beads and I'm going back in circle through this black one that's sticking out. Okay, then I'm going through these five beads and I want to exit through the middle red one here that's sticking out. And what I need are three black beads here okay and go as far as you can and your goal is to reach this black bead that's sticking out and here I add three beads at the edge I'm exiting out of this one and I'm taking three silver beads here go back in circle through this one and also in order to save time, go through all of those beads, if you can, in one movement, if it's possible. If not, do this in two or three movements, okay? And now I'm taking three black beads and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, and I just added my last three beads from this row. And now my goal is to reach my next three black beads and there I'm going to add my ear wire, okay? Going through all of those beads here in this direction. And I want to reach here the top this black bead that's sticking out and here what I want to take is one silver bead my ear wire and then one more silver bead so this is what I have on my needle 
and I want to slide those down like this and I want to go back in circle through this black one and pull okay and when I pull I have this and now I want to go three times around this joint reinforcing it okay and go for three or four times around this joint and now I want to go here inside my work and I want to go here to the, this black one uh, by the way you could finish your earring like this but I prefer to make an additional step and to add a crystal down there okay that is why I want to reach this other side you could do this by going around the edges if it's too tight to go here through the center okay I will do this anyways okay guys and I reach my goal here and I'm going to show you how to add your crystal okay guys and what I do in this step is that I take three black beads then I will take my crystal and I will slide this down and I'm going to take three silver beads and I'll also slide those down three blacks, my crystal and three silvers. Now I'm going to skip my silvers and go back through the crystal and through the first two seed beads here. Okay. And I pull. Then what I need is just one black bead. And I'm taking it and I'm going back here through this middle bit okay now I have this and now I want to take just one silver bit go back through this black and through the red one and pull then go again through this black one and take just one silver again and go here through the black one through these two beads and through the crystal okay now what i do is that i will go one more time back through all of my beads Okay, this time I'm going through this side and through this silver one here. Okay, and through the black after that. Okay, now guys, this is what I have. And in my next step, what I need to do is make some knots and cut my thread. I'm choosing a place between two beads, making a loop, 
and going once and going second time through this loop I've made make sure I'm between those two beats where I started my knot from and after my knot is ready I'm going through the following C beat and what I want to do is cut my thread Okay guys, and now my earring is ready. Okay guys, and when I repeat all of those steps one more time, this is what I have. I have these beautiful stylish earrings. And if you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas. And in this way, you will know when I release matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done, like this bracelet that I'm linking to the eye icon, and you will be able to make beautiful sets. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, a link to my store and a link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.